Stop crying. You're the rest of the video to <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with my two parents. We're currently in Munich. Today we're going to be filming, or tonight actually, it's 8 o'clock. We're going to be filming a Q&A video. People have asked me some questions for my parents and for myself on my Instagram. And so we're just going to be going through some of those. This is Priscilla. This is Bradley. I just asked for general questions so they can be really about anything. Um, there's a broad range of questions. The first one is, do you think you look more like your mom or your dad? I'm looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I do not. And you my act mom, like him too. My mom always says I look like him and ew. How did your parents get to know each other? We Col met in college. Yeah. JMU. Dukes. Please talk in German. Und deine Eltern erraten, was es heißen konnte. Okay. They're saying like, I'll say something in German and then you have to say what you think it is. Okay. Like what the word is. Keep it simple. <laughs> Baum. Hot. Lip, lip, uh, <laughs> wax. <laughs> lip balm? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it means tree. Because I saw uh, that tree. There's a tree painting like right behind the camera. How did your parents like the idea to go to Germany instead of any other country? For you to go to Germany? Mm -hmm. It didn't matter. It was just you were going away. <laughs> it didn't matter what country. <laughs> it was just far away from me. So I was we were, sad. We were a bit stunned simply in that she was going away. But my wife and I had gone away for two years for Peace Corps service overseas. And at that time, we did not have uh, effectively telephone coverage or email or anything of that nature. So the ability to stay in contact with Montana at, you know, once a week or something of that nature made it much easier. Once a week. <laughs> and it gave us an appreciation for effectively what we put our parents through when we lived in the jungle for two years. What is something in Germany that's better than in the U.S., and then what's something in the U.S. that's better than in Germany? I know what Brad's gonna say. Autobahn, number one. <laughs> My dad loves driving in Germany because everyone just knows what they're doing. They just all follow the rules. It's a lot harder to get your license, so people actually learn how to drive. But in the U.S., it's kind of crazy driving. I just love how efficient everything is here. Everything is so clean. Do you guys think it's weird when I speak German? No. No. I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah, very boy. happy that you do so you can translate for us. <laughs> they, have been, <laughs> they have been making me translate all the time. And sometimes I, I don't understand and I don't know. And they just think I know everything about Germany. And my dad will ask me crazy questions like, how many people can fit in the Allianz Stadium? How am I supposed to know that? <laughs> okay. Coronavirus, question mark, question mark. That's the current big topic here, but I don't think there are too many cases right now in Germany. The majority are in Italy, and so I don't think you guys had a problem in the airport or anything. Like that, no, right? no problem. No, no problem. And we've been going to, we've been in Austria and Prague, and it hasn't been a problem at all. I so, mean, you see some people with their masks on, but I mm -hmm. think that's just There were some cautionary. visitors with, or travelers with masks on, but not a lot. Was it easy to let Montana go to Germany? No, it's not. My mom is still not over it. Stop, Stop. Oh, crying. <laughs> you actually crying? I was cool with it because I think the- My baby. The learning, the, uh, learning experience that you get living overseas in different cultures, <laughs> it changes you forever and you'll approach the rest of your life in a different way. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm happy that she's here and she's learning so much and has met so many people, so it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> I can't help <laughs> she's sad. really crying. I miss her. <laughs> I miss you too, Mom. Stop crying. You have the rest of the video to me. <laughs> her dad too. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> she's got to recover yeah. for a little bit. Um, my aunt asked what kind of souvenir am I getting, so... Nothing. <laughs> Love you, sis. You'll see. <laughs> Free chocolate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my mom has been taking that 
hotel chocolate. Shh, don't tell me. It's funny. They might be getting that. <laughs> She's been taking the hotel chocolates and just saving them. She wants to give them as souvenirs. Um, how hard is it living apart from your family? Um, I, oh, that's the laundry. I've always been pretty independent, so it's not too bad. I do miss them, especially during like holidays, like Christmas, Thanksgiving. But we FaceTime a lot. once a week, yeah. twice, once, once every week. other week. Monday mornings. I do. That's my time. Okay. What words do you guys know in German? Nein. <laughs> okay, and? Um, Dankeschön. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll eat it. Juice. <laughs> Juice. Juice. Mug of beer. Beer. <laughs> the only things they need to know. Schnitzel. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite thing about Germany? Oh gosh, that's a hard question. <clears throat> I love all the differences in the geography and um, the number of different rivers, the way yeah. all of the towns are built around the rivers. And yeah, it, yeah oh, just the scenery is beautiful everywhere. Mm -hmm. that we it's see. really cool. Like I think the majority of rivers, there's always this brown sign with the like little river symbol, and then it says the name. Yeah. We don't really and have the that. And people, everybody's been so nice. Mm -hmm. Are there any stereotypes that were confirmed about Germany? Directness, what? the directness. The directness. Directness. Oh. Going back to the Audubon. Those <laughs> good drivers and they, they roll. go fast. Yeah. Love they it. really go fast. One stereotype that I think is true is the pretzels. Oh, they're so like, good. Like they eat so many pretzels and no, we eat so many pretzels, pretzels in Germany. Pretzels are so good. And they're really good. <laughs> and the other thing is um, um, it seems like there's less focus on spicy foods in Europe. Um, my wife and I are addicted to spicy foods, so trying to find spice to to add to whatever it is that we're eating is sometimes difficult here and there. <clears throat> what are we doing together when we're here? We traveled to Vienna, to Salzburg, and Prague, Prague and now we're in Munich. In Passau. Oh, in Passau. We were in Passau for a night and spent time with my host family. It was really nice. Do you think it's a good idea for your parents to visit during the exchange? A lot of people commented this on one of the videos and were saying how it's not good for your parents to visit, but honestly, I really enjoyed them visiting and it was really nice to see them because we, I hadn't seen them since August, so that's like six plus months. Yeah, I think it's going to be hard when they leave and it'll be a little bit of a readjustment period, but I don't think it'll be too bad. and. I still have a whole four months of my exchange, so I don't see any problem with them visiting and I think it was cool because I got to show them around and show them my new life. Yeah, and I could not have gone for more than six months without seeing you, so it's yeah. very good that we came. I was excited for the opportunity to meet her host family. Mm -hmm. It yes. blows me away that they're willing to take someone into their family and without yeah. even knowing They've effectively so who they amazing. are mm -hmm. yes. and yeah. treat them as one of your children and it's just huge huge thanks to them okay i'll try to pick a few just a few more questions because this video is already getting kind of long do you think your daughter's changed her personality or habits since being in germany oh yes for sure how um this is a shock to me <laughs> you definitely don't shop as much or like you're definitely more minimalistic Mm -hmm. than before because yeah. you did like to collect a lot of things. Yeah, I was like a hoarder. Uh, mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, schoolwork. You're like less stressed about schoolwork than you <laughs> yeah, are Yeah, because I don't in get grades. <laughs> so that's very different. I think um, you're, you're potentially more um, environmentally friendly and conscientious about things like that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. kudos to the, the German people <laughs> for having that yeah. type of a focus and hopefully it sort of spreads throughout the world. Uh, who came up with the idea to do an exchange? That was all me. I found mm -hmm. like this program, this whole stipendium or scholarship on my own. Um, did you ever argue or disagree about it? Yes. <laughs> I was very unhappy. <laughs> I think he was happy. It um, took me a while to get used to it. We'll do two more questions. Do your parents have any background with languages? 
Well, yes, I grew up bilingual. I spoke, I speak Vietnamese um, and English. And then I took French and Russian in high school and college. I took uh, five years of French. All of it, I believe, is forgotten from back in the high school days. Oh, same with me. I've forgotten <laughs> French and Russian. <laughs> and then um, fluent in Melanesian Pidgin. Mm -hmm. um, Both of because of from Peace Corps. Peace Corps yeah. Yeah. time. I did learn Pidgin. Okay, I guess I'll answer that. I took five years of Spanish in school. It's kind of lost because now it's like half Spanish, half German when I try to speak it, but I can still understand and kind of write, definitely read Spanish still. Um, and then English and now German. Our last question is, what is your best experience together? Oh. <laughs> just being together. Yeah. This whole well, trust experience. Or no, just in, in, in the whole in our whole life. Mm -hmm. I like that we always get to travel together because I'm an only child and so it's a lot easier to travel because there's only three of us. So we travel a lot together. Like we went to Iceland, we went to China, and yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed hearing a bit about my parents and our lives together and their opinions on Germany. You will see them again in four months or five months in June. Cheers! Bye! Thank you. <laughs> so happy. I like it. It's so funny. Do it again. Cheers!